Hello, my name is Vlado and I would like to show you some of the uh, most recent developments uh, that we do here at Chaos Software for our V-Ray renderer. Uh, so what we've done is we've managed to get uh, portions of V-Ray running entirely on the GPU and this is what uh, you're going to see in a few moments. Uh, it's important to stress that this is just a prototype of our system so uh, the final result may actually end up being quite different so this is just a technological demonstration so please keep that in mind uh, here we have your basic Cornell box scene uh, you see that rendered in V-Ray for about half a minute so we have some global illumination, reflection caustics, there's an area light there so uh, we export this scene to our GPU renderer and uh, you see that uh, rendering almost in real time. So we have a uh, full global illumination uh, with path tracing, uh, area lights, reflections, also glossy reflections, and all of this works at nearly interactive speed. So for this particular scene we also have uh, 9 samples per pixel per frame being traced. Uh, the goal of this uh, technology of course is to accelerate the V-Ray RT renderer. So right now this is a standalone application. It runs completely outside of 3ds Max. Uh, the scene is uh, exported uh, to a special format specifically for this GPU renderer, so we only support camera changes in this application, but of course our goal is to have uh, the full functionality of the VRE RT renderer, where you can change materials, lights, move objects around, uh, and edit your scene in any possible way. So, uh, skip forward to uh, the scene after it's been rendering for about three minutes so uh, quality is quite good as you see uh, here is our next scene it's a car with about 200,000 polygons there's just a single direct light some environment lighting uh, the scene is rendered with the normal V-Ray in about 16 seconds with brute force global illumination for both primary and secondary bosses Uh, exporting this now to our uh, GPU renderer. So of course when, when later on this exporting phase will be much much faster, currently it's written in MaxScript. But uh, of course uh, our goal is to have this working uh, pretty much as part of VRART so you won't have to uh, wait as long for the translation phase. Starting the GPU renderer now and uh, you can see that we get pretty much identical results to a normal V-Ray renderer but we get them at very interactive rates so for this scene we have uh, three samples per pixel uh, we also have lots of reflections uh, we have glossy reflections for the wheels some refractions for the windows and all of this is also uh, rendering in, in real time so as you see right now uh, this uh, render is developed on CUDA uh, but of course our uh, because when we started the development uh, OpenCL was not yet a standard so we started our development with CUDA we also tried Brute Plus uh, but our final goal is to have this implemented in OpenCL so that it will run on as many platforms as possible so as you know OpenCL is a standard for uh, parallel calculations so it's going to be widely supported by many different manufacturers and this is what we would like to use in the end uh, here you see the same scene but this time with environment lighting from a single uh, HDR environment of course uh, 
it's noisier because you need a lot more samples so uh, there's only global illumination in this scene three bounces of global illumination So there are, there are no cheats for this scene, everything is calculated with brute force, there are no pre-calculations, no caching of global illumination or anything. Uh, for each frame everything is calculated from scratch, except for the ray trace acceleration structures. trying to get into the interior of the car right now so this scenario is typically quite a quite a complex uh, set of calculations to do because everything is a closed space and all the light is coming from the outside uh, we have uh, quite a lot of glossy surfaces some texture maps several bounces of GI and all of this uh, you get at rendered at interactive frame rates and most importantly uh, this is the exact same result that you will get if you render the if you render your scene in the production V-Ray renderer uh, so if, you, if we take a look at the task manager uh, so this is an i7 machine so it has uh, four cores four physical cores and eight logical uh, course and you see that uh, only a very little CPU time is uh, taken and this is mostly for capturing the video and for uh, displaying the final result but uh, all the rendering calculations happen on the GPU yeah. here you see the scene after a couple of minutes Okay, moving to a more complicated scene, uh, the, Colossus, the Colosseum scene. Uh, this one has about uh, 800,000 triangles, so it's uh, quite a heavy scene for uh, real-time ray tracing. And this is the result that you get in V-Ray, rendered in about uh, two minutes. It's calculated with Radiance Map uh, as primary GI engine and Brute Force GI. So, uh, exporting this now to uh, our GPU renderer. Uh, this one is going to take a while, so I will pause the recording until the export is finished. Uh, of course, uh, again, this is a prototype. This is not how we imagine the system working. It will be a part of VRART where the workflow, workflow will be much, much smoother. Okay, so we get uh, similar quality for just a fraction of, of the render time. And again we have uh, three samples per pixel, we have five global illumination bounces and we still manage to get about three frames per second. 